In this video, we will show that every dihedral group is a semi-direct product of a subgroup of index 2 and a subgroup of order 2. We will do these calculations explicitly for a dihedral group of order 8, the symmetry group of a square. First, let's quickly review the theory on internal semi-direct products. Recall that if G is a group, N is a normal subgroup of G, H is a subgroup of G, and G equals NH, and that this intersection of H and N is the trivial subgroup, then G is an internal semi-direct product of N and H. And this is written as follows. We note that in this situation, every element of our group G has a unique expression as NH for some element N in the subgroup N and some element H in the subgroup H. And provided we know how group multiplication works in the subgroups N and H, it follows that multiplication in G is determined by the conjugate elements H, N, H inverse for elements N in the subgroup N and elements H in the subgroup H. And these will all lie in the subgroup N because N is a normal subgroup of G. To spell this out, if we have N1 and N2 in the subgroup N and H1 and H2 in the subgroup H, then the product of the elements N1, H1 and N2, H2 is given as follows. So we have N1 multiplied by this conjugate element that lies in the subgroup N followed by H1, H2. Then this part lies in the subgroup N, this part lies in the subgroup H, and by our uniqueness property, we should know what element of G this is precisely if we know how group multiplication works in the subgroups N and the subgroup H. So, for our first concrete realization of an internal semi direct product, let's turn to dihedral groups. D2N will denote the group of symmetries of a regular n gon of order 2n. This is commonly called the dihedral group of order 2n. We have a subgroup R of D2N which is generated by a single 2 pi by n rotation R of the n gon and we have a subgroup S which is generated by any reflection S fixing the n gon. Then the order of this rotation R is N, the order of this reflection S is 2, we have that the subgroup generated by the rotation R is normal in D2N because its index in D2N is equal to 2, the intersection of the subgroups R and S is trivial, so we have that D2N equals RS and therefore with all of this information we have that D2N is the internal semi-direct product of R by the subgroup S. Now it turns out that group multiplication in D2N is completely determined by the relations R to the N equals 1, S squared equals 1, and SRS equals R inverse. This means that we can write the group D2N as the following group presentation. So what this means, it means that D2N is generated by the two elements R and S. This means that every element of D2N can be expressed as a product of the elements R, S and their inverses. And this is subject to the relations R to the N equals 1, S squared equals 1 and S, R, S equals R inverse. Let's see how this works for the dihedral group D8. These will be the symmetries of a square. The following picture illustrates how elements of D8 act on the following square. So the element R corresponds to a 90 degree anti-clockwise rotation of the square. and The element S corresponds to a reflection in the horizontal axis. We can see from this diagram that if we apply the rotation R four times, we get back to where we started. And likewise, if we apply the reflection S twice, we also get back to where we started. So what we have here are the following two relations, R to the 4 equals 1 and S squared equals 1. 
Now note that the effect of rotating the square by 90 degrees anti-clockwise and then reflecting it in the horizontal axis is the same as first reflecting it in the horizontal axis and then rotating it anti-clockwise by 270 degrees. Equivalently, this element SR equals this element R to the 3S, where in these transformations we are working from right to left. So for instance, R to the 3S means first apply S to the square and then apply R three times. We also have the relation S R squared equals R squared S and the relation S R to the 3 equals R S. Now note that these eight transformations constitute all of the symmetries of the square. And so we have that D8 is equal to the following set of elements. And this set is equal to the set R to the K, S to the L, where K is, is an integer between 0 and 3, and L between 0 and 1. And this is equal to RS, where R is the subgroup of D8 generated by the single rotation small r. This is normal in D8 because D8 is a group of order 8, this is a group of order 4, so it has index 2 in D8 and is therefore normal. And then we have the subgroup S of D8 generated by the single reflection S which has order 2. The intersection of r and S is trivial, so what we have here is that D8 is the semi-direct product of the subgroup r by the subgroup S. So how might multiplication work in the group D8? To determine this, the idea is that we take two arbitrary elements, G and G prime of D8, and we use the relations that we found to try to express the product G, G prime as R to the K, S to the L for some integer K between 0 and 3 and some integer L between 0 and 1. Because as we've seen, if we can do this, then we know precisely which element of D8 this product g g prime is. So let k and l be integers between 0 and 3. Then r to the k r to the l is equal to r to the k plus l. And this can be rewritten as r to the k plus l modulo 4. Here we've used the relation r to the 4 equals 1 in D8 to turn this expression into an expression of the desired form. Likewise, r to the k, r to the ls is just going to equal this element followed by s. Again, we've used the relation r to the 4 equals 1 in d8, and this is an expression in the desired form. Now, r to the k, s, r to the l will equal r to the k, r to the minus ls. Here what we've done is we've grouped the s together with the r to the l, and we've applied the relation SR equals R inverse S L times to turn this expression into this expression. Now, if we group these products of R together, we get that this expression equals R to the K minus L S, and we can rewrite this as R to the K minus L modulo 4 S as we did here using the relation r to the 4 equals 1 in D8. And this is an expression in the desired form. Finally, this product is just going to equal this product multiplied by s. So we can just set this equal to this element multiplied by s using the relations r to the 4 equals 1 and sr equals r inverse s. But now note that we have an s squared here and that's just equal to 1 in D8 then this is also in the desired form. Now, as we're using the fact that every element of D8 has an expression in this form, what we've shown here is that the product of any two expressions in that form can be rewritten as an expression in this form in the group D8 using the relations R to the 4 equals 1, S squared equals 1, and SR equals R inverse S. In other words, Multiplication in D8 is completely determined by these three relations. So we can write that D8 has the group presentation RS, so it's generated by the elements RS, and these are subject to the relations R to the 4 equals 1, S squared equals 1, and SRS equals R inverse. Note that in D8 this relation holds if and only if this one does. Here we've just 
multiplied both sides of this by s on the right. And this is easily generalized for D2n. In the next video, we will look at internal semi-direct products of groups of invertible upper triangular matrices.